Hi everyone, welcome to a new game. This is a demo of it called Lawnmower Simulator. Um, it's, a, it's only a demo, so it's not going to be very long. Um, let's do play with tutorial. In this mode, you create your own lawnmower company and build up its reputation. As you expand your company and hire employees, purchase more mowers and unlock new companies. First, your company is setting up with a name, logo, and uniform. Right, let's see. Let's call it Devilish. Okay, stop there. Devilicious company. Okay, uh, company logo. Hmm. What one shall we choose? Bank that one. Any player on this screen, you can customize your in game appearance of your player avatar as well as their physical appearance. You can change the colors of the company uniform where your company logo is displayed. Great. Player name TD. So all these going to be named. Player avatar. Hmm. This guy, this guy will do. Change hat, dark red. Logo placement. Back and front, can we turn him? Can't turn him. Uniform colors. That works. Um, confirm. confirm. Are you happy with your company set up? Select all, uh, accept to start or back if you want to make changes. Now you have a company of your own. You will need to first vehicle for get, to get cutting. Select a vehicle from the list below and take it for test. I think, so this one cuts there, the cutter's in the middle. Collection at the back. Deck size 84 centimeters. Deck type collector. Drive system with drive. Fuel tank 6 liters. Top speed 5.5 miles an hour. Hopper capacity 140. This is. This doesn't tell you how big the hopper capacity is. It's got a bigger deck. It's a mulcher drive. I kind of like this one. I like because I think this one being in the middle. Um, if you want to go say up to a flower bed, I know you can go round the flowers, but let's say you want to go up to a flower bed, the front of the vehicle would be in the flower bed by the time the cutter reaches the end of the grass. Whereas this one, the cutters at the beginning, you could go up to wall and stuff a bit easy. I think. Let's test drive it. Anyway, here you can familiarise yourself. Pretty loud. Anyway, here you can familiarise yourself with a particular vehicle in conditions similar to a real contract. Approach the vehicle and get on it. WASD to move and mount to the ground. Oof. That didn't land straight, I don't think. Why did it say recover? Get on the vehicle. Okay, once you are on your vehicle, you'll be able to get started and onto the grass. Enter the vehicle. Oh, each vehicle is slightly different to get going. Follow the steps to get started at the bottom of the screen. With the vehicle started, take a moment to get used to it and then drive over to the grass and you can start cutting. Z to start the engine. Oh, I hate these games where the mouse suddenly appears on the screen. Press I and T to change the vehicle's throttle. There's no in between. It's either full throttle or not none. So T, full throttle, I, none. It, it, w and 
be a W and S should be forward and back. That's it, simple as that, with varying degrees of throttle if you need it. I think we can change into first person with this. I want to know how I get rid of the mouse because, like, it's fucking annoying. Can earn contract, cut height seven. How do I get rid of the mouse? This is horrible. Right? Whoa, what happened there? I don't know what this square is up in the corner. Right, C. No, E. Four, Z to engage and start cutting blades. Control. Okay, that's just reset camera. Yeah, I kind of like it like this actually. You can see what I'm doing a bit more. Right, Z. We should be cutting. Once on the grass, you need to get your deck ready by first setting the cut eye and then engaging the cut. You should only ever turn your blades when on the grass, otherwise you'll damage them and affect their ability to cut. Okay. When on contract, you're required to cut the grass to a certain height for each contract. Set your cut up from 5 and 6 centimetres. Cut 10% off the height. Okay. Right, we need to go 5. I think it's cutting now. Yep, it's cutting now. Great. Ooh. Oh yeah, the controls are a bit iffy. And I still don't know how to get rid of this... I still don't have a clue on how to get rid of this uh, mouse pointer. But oh my god, it is super loud. Am I supposed to cut the whole grass? I think I only have to get a 10%, so... Oh, we crashed. I'm playing it on the keyboard, maybe having a controller in. You know it would be better if it worked with my steering wheel. Okay. I'm not quite sure how I hit that tree. I think the tree is actually in the grass and not on the edge of the grass. That's the problem. It's not in the border. By holding control you can engage Pro View, which highlights areas of grass that have not been cut. This is useful when you are trying to find the last bit of grass to cut complete a contract yeah or you can just look because it's going to be longer than everything you have done right i still don't understand why my pointer is on the screen how I get rid of it. Well that wasn't it. That was the one button. Okay, so pressing control nope. now got rid of the point. Okay, great. Even better. So if I can go to this view and the point is back, it's here. So this is like third person view. You can see what you're cutting and what you've missed. I can see we missed the edge a bit. We're all 
almost there. I'd imagine that they'd give you a little bit of wiggle room anyway. Hey, great work. Does that stop? Okay, I couldn't read that. It said something like great work in a real situation, something, 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 blah, blah. I don't know what else it was. Right, let's see. Turn that off. It's noisy. Uh, cue to lift it. And then we drive it back to the trailer. This view is, I don't know if there's a motion blur setting or something, but it's, it's not very, it doesn't look smooth, it looks very... Janky. After completing the test drive, you can now purchase the vehicle. If you like, you can test drive the other vehicle as well. No, I'll just, let's just buy one. Good job. Okay, first contract. So we need five to six centimeters. Okay. As, as you set up and confirm contracts, they pin on the map between yellow and the contract you're assigned to a star display. As the first contract confirmed, you can start it and head to location to start cutting. Go. This is what we're cutting today. We've got a uh, four minutes for a ground check and then a 26 minutes for cutting. Right, at the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects on the grass, a uh, grass area that could either be, be damaged or damage your vehicle. You can choose to skip the ground check and have the object automatically removed by interacting with the mower, but this means you don't earn any money or RP. Okay, so we have to go in and we have to look around and find things like this. There's five objects. Yeah, this the camera really isn't very smooth. Um... camera's not very smooth at all it looks it's got some sort of motion blur on it or something it looks horrible i mean this is 60 fps on a 144 hertz monitor and doing this makes me feel my eyes go funky. It really makes my eyes hurt. Right. I think we've got everything. We've done the whole ground check. Great. With the ground check complete, it's time to start cutting some grass. Full throttle again, because that's all you can have. I don't see the point of having a throttle when it's either on or off, when it's a digital control. You either have full throttle or none, what's the point in having a throttle? There's zero point in having it. 
Right, I'm going to do this in first person. And then lower the cutter. Oh, we have to change the cutting height. Okay, right, higher the cutter. You can't change the cutting height while it's... Five, it said, right? Five. Lower the cutter. And then press Z to engage the blades. Your performance during cutting will affect how much money in RP, reputation points, you earn from the contract. You need to find a balance between speed and careful driving, avoid damaging the flowers or lawn while cutting to quickly earn a time bonus. Well, we'll give it a go, but at the end of the day, the camera is pretty bad. It makes, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again after this video. Can't see. I literally cannot see. I think we got it. Maybe I'll try again if I can after this video and I'll see if there's a way to fix this bad camera. Okay, well that's done. Uh, we missed a tiny bit there. We also hit a couple of flowers. Um, and apparently I damaged the ground once, uh, which I was trying to be really careful. I didn't notice when this goes red, you, um, if you stop, for a split second it will kind of go back to normal oh there's another bit there we missed it's not as easy as it first looks that's for sure so let's see go and check time bonus nice because we finished early Go and check earnings, cutting time bonus, um, penalties and fines, three, three pounds seventy. Collisions one. When did we have a collision? Did we have a collision? Interesting. Ground damage twenty p. Flowers destroyed two pound. We made three fifty ninety. Okay. Uh, this is the vehicle garage here. You can fix damaged vehicles. Use statistics. Purchase attachments, parts, part exchange vehicles, or purchase new ones first. So let's select the current vehicle and you can maintain it. 
This screen shows all the information you need to keep track of your vehicle's performance and status. Let's maintain your vehicle and get it ready for the next contract by selecting the maintenance button. It's important to keep your vehicle well maintained and fixed. Ideally, after each contract, you should visit the garage, refilling the fuel tank and fixing any damage. You can see the status of your vehicle to the left of the screen. If your vehicle needs attention, see to it now before returning to the contract menu via left button, right button. This is, I don't know, is this designed to be on a controller? Uh, full repair. Repair engine. Full repair. Blair blade. Full repair. Refuel. Full refuel. Good job. Ah, oh, right, okay, I click that. I thought back would have put me back here. Right. Kingsbury House. B45, RP75. Right. Get this one done. Same way. I'm probably time lapse through this one too. Okay, that's what we're doing. Great. Ah. Wow, I'm pretty sure I ran over that. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't there at the time. Right. Okay. Here we go. Okay, that's all done. I'm still sure that there are some bits that it's saying I missed and I didn't. But we'll see. There's a little bit there where I damaged the ground, a little brown spot. I 
I don't see any, actually. Yeah, I don't know. So, final check. Ground check time bonus. Uh, ground check earnings. Cutting time bonus. Valuables recover none. Cannot lease and fight. 98p. So, 50p for a collision. I didn't collide with anything. What did I collide with? And ground damage 48p. What did I collide with? Hmm. Anyway, so we got 258, 47, and we have just under a thousand. Amateur, and we got a new one. Great. That's the end of it. There's just two gardens to do. Um, if you enjoyed it, go wish list it if you wish. Um, maybe if I get the game, I'll bring it to the channel. We'll do a, a little series on it. Do one garden at a time or something. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.